Hi, I'm Tom Summers with the Diner Realty. Today I want to answer the question, how do I find a foreclosure? This again is another very common question I keep getting asked by buyers because of course everybody's looking for a deal. I certainly don't blame you. So I want to kind of give you an insight into the MLS today and share with you some information about how things are set up on these different websites so you know what you're looking at. Um, the first thing, and I know you're going to say, here it comes again, is I'm going to say hire a real estate agent. All right, I'm doing that, of course, I, that's how I make my living. But I work for you, the buyer, for free because I get paid by the seller. So why would you not have a full-time licensed professional real estate agent helping you to find a house? But if you're not at that point yet, you just are looking in your you know, maybe far down the road, you're just not ready to buy. Let's cover the basics so you can kind of at least understand what you're looking at when you go to these different websites. Now, the first thing I want to say about this is that with the MLS, which is the multiple listing service, or sometimes you'll see it as the RMLS, which is the Regional Multiple Listing Service, is designed for us as licensed agents. No one from the public will have access directly to this particular website. It is only for licensed professionals. So every other website that you look at, I don't care which one it is, are all RMLS members that are taking information from the MLS, putting it onto their website, creating searches for you, the consumer, to look for homes, all right? The difference between one site, website versus another is the quality of the website, not only within the information and all of the content that you have, but also what type of search engine do they have. With my website, www.realtimehomesearch, in the Minneapolis and St. Paul area, I think it's cutting edge. It's one of the best IDX solutions or searching solutions to find homes for sale. Please check it out at your leisure if you're living in the uh, Minneapolis-St. Paul area. If you want help, call me. I'm more than willing to answer questions, no pressure. Uh, but having said that, the thing about the MLS is if you look at, say, like a foreclosure or a short sale, they can also say that they're still active when they already have an offer on them. There's nothing I can do as a real estate agent to change that because they don't offer that particular information on a specific search tab for the MLS. So what ends up happening is, is, let's say there's a house that's foreclosed on and there's an offer on the property, but the offer is accepted, but it hasn't been signed off on all the contingencies. And the contingency would be like, say, a home inspection or a loan approval, whatever it might be. So until those contingencies are all met, the house is still technically still active. You could write an offer, although it would be a backup offer, but it's going to always show up as an active home for sale. So if you've ever been in a situation where you're frustrated because you find a house you like, only to find out that the home is already sold but it still says active, that's typically the reason why. And it happens more so with short sales because the short sale they'll have an accepted offer on the house, but it has to remain active until the bank says yes to the short sale. And it's kind of a catch-22 because as a real estate agent, if I've got a house listed that's a short sale, I would like to take it off the market uh, and put it as pended, but it's truly not pended. So I have to keep it active so in case the first buyer walks away, I hopefully have a second buyer that wants to write an offer on it to keep moving forward with the process or the bank also wants to see that the house is still active because they want to see that you're actively trying to get the home sold all right so the only way to truly correct this or to get the accurate information is to contact a real estate agent work with that agent so that they can help you when you have questions. You don't have to sign a commitment right away to work with an agent, but you should establish some type of a you know, rapport with someone who's going to help you down the road. I've got several people right now that I'm working with that aren't ready to buy yet, but I'm helping them by giving them advice and giving them information about properties that they see online. So they'll you know, email me or call me up and say, okay, I've got these three MLSs. Can you please look at these and let me know what's going on? And with a touch of a button, I can get, get access to information that you as a buyer just can't. And I can answer it and say, okay, this one looks like it's a possibility. No, this one isn't because it's already got an offer on it, whatever the case might be. But either way, then you're going to get accurate information. You're not just going to feel like you're swimming in a circle. So the MLS is set up to work for us as professionals so that we can provide you the buyer information. So just remember, whenever you're looking at a real estate website, judge it upon the content and judge it upon how easy that search is. But the searches are all going to be very similar. So 
you want to look for something where you're getting relevant content on a regular basis because then you know the person that runs that website is making a true effort to make things better for you as a buyer. And also they're working and always tweaking their different search engines to also give you the best feedback and search results that, that they, they possibly can. I put this number one in my book when it comes to online services, making sure that my website is functioning properly and giving you the up to the minute and um, information and advice, the best that I can do. So if you have any questions, give me a call. I'd be more than happy to answer questions from you know via phone or email, whatever the case might be for you. Um, but contact me. I want to help you find a house. I hope that this has helped you and I hope you have a wonderful day.